the Canon G7X. What? <laughs> All right, dance. Do we have to boogie inside because we're going to be late? No. Yeah? Let's see. It's 9.13. Your class starts at 9.15. You got to go. Say bye. Bye. Hi. Hold it. Um, I was at dance and I had to practice my dance to my will. Tomorrow we have to go to home. And because we're gonna have school tomorrow. Are we on? No, school Oh, we don't. So I have not sleep over. I got so confused. Tomorrow's Sunday. And that's a weekend. So we could have a sleep over. And that's a Mamie Babak. I like it. And I really see for here. And I had to wear my brother's shoes, but I don't know what to do. You're a what? I'm a dark shadow. I don't know what to do. What? I have a new nickname, apparently. Call me Demon Baby. Just a common one. What are you doing? Dancing. Dancing what? Dance. Are you dancing with your toes up in the air? No. Are you dancing with your face up in the air? No. Are you going to whip your hair back and forth? No! Are you going to do some footloose action? No. Are you going to do some flips? Sure. Are you going to do some aerials? No. Are you going to do one-handed cartwheels? No. Are you going to do chest stand? Yes. Am I annoying you? Hmm? Am I annoying you? Yes. <laughs> Good, that's mom's job. Hey guys, what's up? So on my Facebook page, I had mentioned that I am going to be upgrading my camera. And today is the day that I will be getting the Canon M10. Um, there's two different versions of it. There's the Canon M10 and there's the Cam Canon M100. Uh, They're kind of like the G7X. Um, I don't really want to go out and spend the $700 on the G7X right now. Just because like our, our YouTube channel isn't really as isn't that big yet hopefully it's gonna grow but right now it's not as big as we want it to be so I'm gonna go out and get the Canon M10 I'm gonna try it out it does have a 30-day um, return policy from where I'm getting it from so if I don't like it then I'm gonna upgrade to the Canon M100 I was reading some reviews though on uh, YouTube and uh, Google whatever that are saying that the Canon M10 is a really, really good camera and that it's very underrated and people don't really just pass it by. And it's really good for beginning vloggers. Now, currently we're using the Canon G12, which, like, it's a good camera, don't get me wrong, but it's very big and it's very heavy and I wanted, um, in one of the previous vlogs that we've done, I had bought a mount for my car, for instance, and... The, the camera wouldn't stay on the mount. It kept falling over and it did not work. So, and I could not find a mount for the life of me that would hold this camera. So I'm gonna be, and the, the Canon M10 is a lot small, like it's thinner. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to mount it in the car and it won't, when I'm driving, like it won't slide everywhere. And I'll be able to actually talk properly and not have to stay parked when I'm talking to you guys. So, I am going to be heading out to Staples, and I'm going to be um, going to buy it because it's the cheapest place that I found the camera. So, here we go. Okay, so I decided to come check out Best Buy first to see if they sell the Canon. I see Nikons. Sony. Nope. Um, yeah, so off to Staples. Okay, so we're at Staples now, and I'll just show you guys the beauty that I want to buy. Right there. So I just gotta find somebody to help us buy it. It's taking a lot longer than I hoped. Hey 
guys, what's up? So just finished the staples, and I am now a proud owner of a new camera. Okay, <laughs> so that was a little weird. So that took a while, a lot longer than I expected, but whatever. Uh, what time is it? Okay, so we got the Canon EOS M100. I also bought a new gig stick, cause, or a memory card, because uh, mine was sucking a lot. Like this video says I have nine minutes left. So, let's open it up. So I had to get this one instead of the M10 because they didn't have any of the M10s left. So, they said I have, the guy who was explaining that it's a, it is better quality, so like the videos will be better quality, um, as, far, as well as the pictures. Let's see. Well, it's not as bad. It's not as heavy as that thing. Okay, so, bubble wrapping it. Ooh, that's a lot lighter. Ooh, I'm going to get this on this thing. Ooh. Okay. So, so you guys are aware, this is what it looks like. And then it has the flip up screen, whereas my Canon that I'm currently shooting this video on has, um, it's on the side. So, I don't know how to, okay, anyways. So it also does, like it looks like this. I don't know what the difference is, like I'm gonna have to experiment with this thing. But it also does come with, A lens. That's not bad. Maybe the model just felt heavier because like literally it felt really heavy in the store and I was kind of like debating it. And then we got her charger. Where's my battery though? Oh, it comes with a strap. Okay, so the battery is kind of the same as the one I'm using now. And I got a strap. Okay. So let's see how this beauty works. Let's see if it's charged enough. Probably not. The cool thing, I don't know if anybody's into getting the M10, I might do a review video about this later, but what I was watching online is there's a thing on this side here where you can like tap your phone and it'll transfer the pictures to your phone. So I thought that that was kind of cool. <gasps> oh, it's on. Oh, it's gonna die. So it does need to be charged. Oh, memory card. Oh, okay, so how do I open this thing? Do I push this? Oh, okay. Whew. Wow, okay, so I understand why you need the lens, because this is what it looks like. So, let's put this lens on, so I'm going to turn it off. I don't, oh, I probably have to push a button. That would be smart, Nikki. I don't understand. I don't understand! I don't get it. I can't get it in. Oh, I did it, okay. So we're going to take this off. Now it does add quite a little bit of weight with this, like this is kind of really heavy. I wonder if you can get like a smaller one. Oh, I can see myself. So there you go. You can see kind of the same like quality though. I wonder does it have a viewfinder? I don't know what these mean. I hope you guys are as hell. I like the quality. It's kind of hard to do this. Oh, you can see me. Woo! It's a little bit better than like. I don't know, I have to tell like when I'm shooting. Oh yeah, that's definitely a lot better. Oh yeah, I like this one already. But how do I, what are these for? Okay, so I have to experiment a little bit because I have, what's this? I literally have like no idea how to use this. Like, I don't know what the heck goes on. But this is really cool. Okay, so if I go... Oh, the video's not bad. Actually, like, you can actually tell how white I am in, <laughs> in the camera. Okay, so anyways, um, I have to charge this baby up and put a memory card in it and all that fun stuff. So, I am going to probably still shoot the rest of today's video with the G12. And then tomorrow, I will start with the Canon um, M100. So I gotta charge it up and yeah. So now I gotta hurry back to Grace. Uh, she's at dance still because I just kind of dropped her and left. And wow, it's started like 10 minutes and I think I'm probably gonna run out of room on my memory card because I, so I have. So with this M100, I'm hoping that, so when I'm recording a lot of videos, um, my 
when I try to convert it onto iMovie, a lot of the files get corrupt, and it irritates me because it's usually a lot of vital f pieces. Like Ariel doing cartwheels, for instance, like her getting better at it, I couldn't put it on my computer. So I'm hoping that the M100 is going to be a lot better, and it's just the Canon that's having the issues, and it's not my computer. Um... So we're going to find out, um, I'm going to probably, I might try to shoot part of this video for tonight with the M100, I just have to charge it, so I have to see if they have a charger at dance, and I'm hoping that, like, this is really heavy, like, I don't know how well, like, this by itself, I'm wondering if there's, like, an adapter, I don't know if anybody can tell me, well, I guess that's how you zoom, I don't know what I did, I have no idea what these things on the front mean, so I'm going to have to, like, figure it out, oh no, I took out the lens! <laughs> Oh no! I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, I did it. Um, I'm hoping I can find a, f a smaller lens because, like, I don't know if they sell smaller. I kind of hope they do because, like, this is really heavy and I don't think it's going to sit. It might sit on a mount. I don't know. Might not, though. I'm going to have to see. But now we got the new camera. It costed a lot of money, but it's worth it once this takes off on YouTube. Okay, anyways. I'm going to head back and get my daughter from dance. Uh, she still has another hour, though. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Anyways, so I'm going to go and, uh, I'll go get my kid in an hour. Yeah. So you guys may be wondering, why is their quality so clear? Well, that's because I bought the Canon G7X. What? So a little backstory. So previously in the vlog, I talked about how I was buying the Canon M100. Bought it, showed you guys and everything. Well, so I turned it on and I'm pressing the record button. I'm pressing the take a picture button. Nothing was working. And I was getting really mad. So I decided to go and get the, well, first off I returned it. And then I tried to talk to him about getting the M10. I'm like, is it any good? Like, what's the difference? And answers were, I don't know. So shame on you, Staples. And then I decided to, I'm like, we have a camera store here called Henry. So I decided to go there and, you know, if they can give me good advice on what to buy for vlogging, then great. So I went there. And I asked her, can you guys order Canon products? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm really interested in getting the Canon G7X because I've wanted this, wanted this camera since we started this adventure. And she's like, well, we have it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so, suffice to say, I am now a proud owner of the Canon G7X and I am loving every minute of it. It took me a couple minutes to get used to how to use it. Well, I wasn't really clear on how to record, but now I am. So here we go. Our adventures with the Canon G7 X, everybody. <laughs> Anyways, so I have to get ready to go to work, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I only have like two weekends left of doing delivery driving, and then I'm done, and I will be starting at the CRA. Um, and I will be a little happier. <gasps> oh, I think somebody's home. You don't want to say hi? I think he has pee. Anyways, off to work I go. You are the weaver. Oh, you're Look at that. Hey guys, so I finished work. Oh, I shouldn't put this like right on the stereo. There we go. I finished work with Matt. He's right there. And we're going to be going to Walmart. We were going to go to the movies to see the Avengers, but, like, we drove by the movies to go buy pre-buy our tickets. And it was, like, super duper duper packed. So we're going to go to Walmart right now and get some stuff that we need and then try to figure out something for us to do for the rest of the night. I'm not quite sure. Both of us are kind of feeling really yicky. His eye hurts and my mouth hurts because my wisdom tooth is coming in and it's just exhausting. But anyways, so off to Walmart we go. So we're looking at new plate sets because we've had the same ones for like the last like I don't know three years when we moved into the house in Smooth Rock from like the dollar store. So these are our options. You are the deciding factor. Pick. Pick a plate set. That one's more expensive. Which one? 
The red one, but our kitchen's not red. Our kitchen's blue. So, why is the place gonna match? Who made that rule? Me. I made that rule. The There's squares, the flower ones. The square is so much easier to portion. Yeah, that's a good argument, man. Eh? But the flower ones are pretty. But our kitchen's blue. That has blue in it. So? That one doesn't have blue. You can go with the gray ones, though. Those ones look cool. Or these ones. Okay, well, I picked square, so you, you, you picked this one. The trees. This one? Yeah. Okay. It's decided. I made you decide. Why would anyone make a gaming system that's built out of cardboard? For controllers. It's really weird. So we have to go to the little girls. We have to go to the little girls aisle because Matt well, has to be subjected to his daughter's purse bra being born, bought because she needs one because she keeps wearing her bathing suit top as a bra and we have to get her one, so here we go. Hey guys, so we just got home from Walmart and uh, me and Matt are going to go to dinner and then we are going to go do something fun. I don't know what we're doing, but I'm not going to vlog when we're out because we need some R&R &R time, so... Um, I'm gonna be ending this vlog for today and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!